The peace of Christ be with you. Look for the light of Christ. It will never be overcome. He's waiting for you to seek it, longing to shine his light on your way. How do we find that light? How do we come to know God? Here's one answer, straight from the Lord himself, in Proverbs 8, 17, where it's written, I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently find me. This is the word of the Lord, and here are my thoughts. Actually, not my thoughts at all today. Sometimes I want to do more than give you just a short quote as I wrap up. There's an abundance of really excellent, thought-provoking writing out there. So I've decided that now and then I'll share with you some of the best of what I find, like today. In this piece from God of Surprises, Gerard Hughes is talking about how we come to know God. After speaking of the negative impressions we may pick up from parents, teachers, or clergy, he writes, Although I may know in my mind that God is not like that, I may still experience a strong disinclination to approach him without knowing why and find a thousand reasons for not praying. I'm too busy. I prefer to find him through my work, etc. We have to pray constantly to be rid of false notions of God. And we have to beg him to teach us who he is, for no one else can. God is known by God alone, as one of the early writers of the church said. What we are praying for is not merely an intellectual knowledge, but a felt knowledge which affects our whole being and therefore affects the way we see ourselves, other people, and the world around us. This felt knowledge of God changes the patterns of our thinking and therefore of acting, breaks open the cocoon of our minds and hearts and liberates us from the constrictions which our upbringing and present environment are imposing on us. To become aware that we have a distorted notion of God is to have made progress on our journey toward him. As the journey continues, we shall discover other distortions of which we were not aware. Such discoveries can be very painful at first, but it is like the pain we feel when our limbs are at last free after being restricted. It is the pain of freedom. The journey to God is a journey of discovery, and it is full of surprises. So be it. And that is today's longer quote, so I'll go straight to the blessing, which isn't my own either, but I'll still give it. May the road rise to meet you, and the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm on your face, and the rain fall soft on your fields. Until we meet or meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Amen. <laughs>